Welcome to your Pro Tools pre-flight check. When you first launch Pro Tools, you're going to see a lot of windows open that you're not going to need, and you're going to see a lot of functions exposed that we're not going to use right now. So to have a little bit more screen real estate while we're working, let's go through and clean up the Pro Tools interface so we have more room to work. If you see this floating transport window, just close it. If you see this floating mix window, close that. On the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you're going to see a little arrow right here. And if you click on that, you can hide our track manager. If we want to use the track manager later, we can reopen it. Near the top left hand corner, you're going to see a little black box with an arrow pointing down. Left click on that and you're gonna see a variety of options that we can uncheck for functions that we're simply not using right now. So uncheck bars and beats, time code, time code two, feet and frames, samples, leave markers, uncheck tempo, meter, key, and chorus. When you're done with these options, just click on the box again and the menu will disappear. Next, click on the little white box just below it with an arrow pointing down. Here, make sure you choose I.O. Then you can close the box. Next, we wanna make sure that your multi-tool is active. So right up here where you see these little blue boxes, you're gonna see one, two, three boxes and a bracket just above them. Click on that bracket and you'll highlight all of the tools, effectively creating what Avid calls the smart tool. This stays on until we disable it. Next, take your cursor over to this window right here, and you'll see the words grid and nudge. For now, uncheck grid. Now, moving a little bit further to the right, you'll see a little box that says AZ, and you want to make sure that that box is highlighted yellow. Not the one in your clip list, but rather the one right here in the corner of your edit window. Just click on that and make sure it's highlighted yellow. Next, click on options, uncheck pre slash post roll, then click on options again, edit window scrolling, and choose page. Now we only have one more option to change. Click on the Setup menu, scroll down to Preferences. Once at Preferences, select the Processing tab. Once you have that selected, look under Import and make sure the box Automatically Copy Files on Import is checked. Click OK, and you've completed your Pro Tools pre-flight check.